Oh my God. It's him. He's insane. We should follow him home. Forget it. Oh, come on, Josh. Don't you want to at least see where this guy lives? God, no. This is just junk I have for sale. The record room is off limits. Really? Are all these records? Yeah, I've got about uh, 1,578 at this point. I've tried to pare down my collection to just the essential. Look at this room. This is like my dream room. Look at all this stuff. You are like the luckiest guy in the world. I would kill to have stuff like this. Please, go ahead and kill me. Oh, come on. What are you talking about? Well, you, you think it's healthy to obsessively collect things? You can't connect with other people, so you fill your life with stuff. Just like all the rest of these pathetic collector losers. No, you're not. You're a cool guy, Seymour. I'm so cool, how come I haven't had a girlfriend in like four years? I can't even remember the last time a girl talked to me. I'm talking to you. You know, I bet there are tons of women who'd go out with you in a minute. I know I could get you a date in like two seconds. Good luck. I mean it. You leave everything to me, I'm going to be your own personal dating service. Yeah, well, we should get back. By the end of the summer, you're going to be up to your neck in pussy. Jesus. What about her? Would you go out with her? What kind of a question is that? I mean, it's, it's totally irrelevant because a girl like that would never be caught dead with me. Yeah, but put that aside for now. Would you go out with her? I really didn't get a good look at her. Yes, you did. Whoa. What about her? Are you into girls with big tits? Jesus. I mean, as long as she's not a complete imbecile and she's even remotely attractive. Hey, look, there's Norman. Hi, Norman. Well, we need to find a place where you can go to meet women who share your interests. Well, maybe I don't want to meet someone who shares my interests. I hate my interests. Yeah, yeah, just list your five main interests in order of importance. Uh, I'd have to put traditional jazz, blues, uh, and then ragtime at the top of the list. Right, then... so let's just say music. That way we only use up one. All right. Um, Can we go in here for a second? Aren't you going to get that? Let the machine get it. I have no desire to talk to anyone who might be calling me. I'll call you back as soon as I get home. I know it, it's my mother. Hi, I, I'm calling for... Uh, you placed an ad in the weekly over a month ago, and... Well, I'm the blonde in the yellow dress. I, I think I... I saw the ad when you first placed it, but I, I was in this relationship at the time, so I cut the ad out, and... Now I'm not in the relationship anymore. God, this is really confusing. Don't... Anyway, if you still want to talk to me, I can be reached at 555-2603. That's my work number. My name is Dana. Uh, okay. Bye. Wow. What was all that about? It's just somebody's idea of a joke. Oh, that doesn't sound like a joke to me. What, did you place an ad in the personals or something? Yeah, a long time ago. She called before. It's just somebody trying to humiliate me. Mm, mm. I love this song. Oh. Isn't it great? Does it make you want to dance? Come on. No, I don't I don't really dance. Oh, come on, Seymour. Don't be silly. Anybody can dance. You can follow me. Watch my feet. No, I really not. Oh, come on, Seymour. Oh, yeah. Just feel the music. Loosen up. It's all in your head. Here, let's put down your bowl of ice cream. Oh, it's 9 o'clock already. We're gonna make that movie. Don't you think we should go? Okay. Party pooper. Donnie G Show! Donnie G! Nothing but classic rock coming at you this beautiful evening. You're listening to KFTO! Oh, that asshole's voice is so hateful. 11 minutes from the top of the hour. I wonder I never listened to the radio. 
It's just, it's just so shrill and loud and piercing. I mean, it's like I feel like I'm being jabbed in the face. KTO coming at you on this beautiful evening. So, Thank you. Um, why'd you bring the record? Brought it so he can autograph it. He's gonna be amazed to see it. It's one of only two known copies. I can't believe they have him as the opening act and not the headliner. It's, it's what an insult. You know, there's gonna be lots of girls for you to pick from at this bar. I'm not holding my breath in that department. What, are we in slow motion here? Come on, what are you, hypnotized? Have some more kids, why don't you? Jesus Christ, move it! Seymour! God. <laughs> remember why I haven't been anywhere in months. It's simple for everybody else. You, you give them a Big Mac and a pair of Nikes and they're happy. I just, I, I can't relate to 99% of humanity. Well, I can't relate to humanity either, but I don't think it's completely hopeless. Well, it's not completely hopeless for you. I'm not even in the same universe as those creatures back there. We just need to find you a place where you can meet someone who isn't a complete idiot, that's all. Okay. a little stoned. What do you want? Hi, on life. Look, Seymour, I came by to tell you how really, really sorry I am about everything. I know you probably totally you don't hate have me, to but say I anything. mean, don't say anything. I know I'm a total disappointment to everyone. I just quit my job this morning, and then I had a fight with Becky because I told her I wasn't going to move in with her, and that she really just wants to kill me. And there is just no way to explain how I feel, and I don't... I guess I'll just have to figure myself out. Enid, I'm not mad at you. I know I'm just a dork. Well, you are not a dork. Sure I am. 